So again, welcome to our 2019 regulatory update. Uh, this is uh, our third year, uh, Glowstone Trucking Solutions. I'm Dave Gray, uh, uh, co-hosting with uh, Clean Fleet, which uh, is uh, run by my son, Brian, and he is on his way, not quite here yet, but uh, so we are, we are your hosts, and uh, this, uh, this event, uh, it's our third year, however, this event's been going on for quite a number of years, and uh, we were honored to kind of take it over uh, and host it uh, from Skip Nash, from Standard Best uh, of Oregon, and uh, when Skip's not fishing, he attends, and Skip, I see you in the back room, welcome, and uh, so Skip is, <laughs> fish must not be biting. Uh, so, uh, so we've learned a lot from, from Skip and are uh, proud to kind of take this uh, over and uh, offer, offer this event uh, to you all. So the goal for this event really is uh, to share, share information, collaborate amongst all of us, to understand, and with that hopefully be able to then grow our business grow safety, improve safety. Uh, obviously, regulatory uh, work in all of our business really hits the expense line of the profit and loss statement. It's really not a revenue generator per se. However, the better we do it, uh, the less expense appears on the P&L in other areas such as accidents and crashes and things like that. So. Uh, uh, really, the better understanding and the more we collaborate, uh, the better your, your, your P&Ls will, will look on the bottom line. So that's really our, our goal for the event uh, today. Looking through the uh, company names that uh, signed up, I was pretty, uh, pretty impressed. Uh, we are live streaming this event as well as uh, those of you that are here uh, live and in person, but looking at the company names, I won't read the names, but we have definitely we have four hire carriers represented here in our audience. We have private carriers, we have long haul, we have some short haul, we have some last mile folks in attendance. We have large, very large fleets, we have owner operators. We've got uh, folks from excavation, concrete, crane, steel, auto transporters, household goods carriers representative, charter bus folks, farm operations here, retail, produce, cold storage. We have truck stops represented here, representative here and fuel haulers. There's poultry producers, pavers, recyclers, rock haulers, and I met a gentleman this morning that uh, is uh, with a brewing Brewing Craft Brewing Alliance, I think that's correct. Uh, free samples after the meeting is over, but uh, I didn't promise that. But so as far as uh, so, uh, lots of different folks, uh, different businesses, but the one thing that is in common is y'all operate trucks, and so that's what uh, this this uh, information uh, is about, and, and the re regulatory end. So as far as uh, other areas of expertise uh, that is represented today, are, we have uh, folks tuning in from the Oregon Trucking Association. We have folks tuning in from the Washington Trucking Association. Uh, there's attorneys representative. There is drug and alcohol testing experts. Uh, there'll be FMCSA folks here. Uh, there's supposed to be a uh, couple of representatives from the Oregon Department of Transportation. Uh, uh, we have obviously folks uh, that are expert with IFTA, IRP, the registration. We have, uh, we, uh, have software developers. We have doctors uh, here. So lots of expertise from lots of different industries. And again, we're here to kind of share information and uh, make uh, everyone's businesses uh, better. So this is a uh, obviously a free event, which uh, free is a very good price, and we are happy to offer it free. Uh, putting it on, putting the event on is not free, uh, and so we do have sponsors, and we're very, very happy to have sponsors. 
uh, with us, and Geotab uh, is buying lunch today for those of you that are here in attendance. Uh, they have been a consistent sponsor uh, of this event for the last few years. Kyle Dodsworth, the ELD regulatory specialist for Geotab. Geotab is a telematics uh, provider, and you might Maybe uh, you recognize the name Geotab, you might not recognize the name Geotab. Geotab is sold through resellers and is often white labeled under different brand names that I'm sure you've heard of, uh, you know, such as you know, the J.J. Keller system is, is a Geotab based device, uh, as well as uh, many others out there. So Geotab's got uh, a million, over a million different devices out there in the marketplace now, which makes them one of the top leaders in telematics. So we're happy to have Kyle here all the way from Ontario, Canada. Last year he got stuck in a snowstorm, so I'm, I know he's glad that he's uh, made it this time. Uh, choice one, insurance. Uh, insurance uh, is often only as good as your agent, and uh, choice one is uh, an agent here in uh, the Clackamas area that uh, I have known for many, many uh, years. Andre Schulich is the uh, owner, president of Choice One, and he is uh, over there. PetroCard has been a, a sponsor. Uh, obviously, it's, it's, their tagline is more than just fuel, more than just a fuel card. I think we have Colleen Vogel. Colleen, are you here attending? Somebody from PetroCard? No, I saw somebody from PetroCard. They set up their sign. So. All right, Blue Arch Technology Service. A lot of what we're going to talk about today is technology. And if you're like me and know very little about technology, you need technology people to uh, help get these things set up. So that's what Blue Arch uh, is. We have Ken Smith from Blue Arch here somewhere. All right. <laughs> Behind the corner? All right, sorry. Behind the wall, I can't see him. And Netradyne, another uh, company that uh, uh, is a uh, continuous uh, uh, sponsor, was here uh, last year, and uh, reading their, their tagline on their website, they're cutting edge technology and uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, edge computing. Uh, you say... What? what? You know, trucking? Trucking is simple. It's just, you just get in the truck and drive. Not anymore. And in the future, not anymore. Even more, uh, not anymore. So uh, technology is hitting the trucking industry like you can't believe. And I think as we go through today's presentation, uh, hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll see that and better understand that. So, uh, and Matt Drake with Netrodyne. Matt, are you here somewhere? All right. And Anderson Yamada, I'm sure most of you local Portland area, Oregon folks will recognize the name Anderson Yamada. They're attorneys uh, uh, specializing, uh, uh, well, they specialize in a lot of things, but transportation, they've been very involved in transportation uh, forever here in the uh, Portland market. I think uh, they started their company in the 50s. So Kevin Anderson, I haven't seen him this morning, but uh, he may be here or be uh, tuning in online. And permit book is one I'm excited about. It's uh, brand new. It's probably uh, three, four weeks old. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, you'll hear a little bit more about that, uh, about this later. It's really a phone app for drivers. And it provides a simple, simple to use solution where drivers have at the top of the screen access to all of their key regulatory documents or comp and or company documents. So it, it's just a place on your phone, on the driver's phone, that all of this can be stored in one spot, organized where you can find it, bring it up, and, and have it um, on display right on his phone. And then, of course, uh, a special thanks to the Oregon Trucking Association and the Washington Trucking Association for their, for their support in this. So speakers, uh, we have uh, speakers today uh, on various different topics. And is Warren from the FMCSA here yet? I don't think so. I haven't seen him. I know he's driving up from Salem uh, this morning. So while he's not here, I want to talk behind his back nicely. Uh, Warren's a great guy. Uh, and you'll find out uh, if you haven't heard him speak before, uh, he is a uh, represent, he's a smart guy, very, uh, very active. Uh, really helpful 
Uh, we are lucky to have him in Oregon as part of the FF, FMCSA team here in Oregon. Just to kind of give you the hierarchy of the FMCSA. So Ray Martinez is the administrator of the FMCSA. He's appointed by Trump to hold that position. He's been in position, I think, a little over a year. He's got a deputy underneath them. They have directors of different departments. And Joe DeLorenzo is the director of Office of Enforcement and Compliance, which is really what we're all talking about today. Underneath him, they ha he has four regional administrators. Scott Hernandez is the Western Region Administrator. And then under him is the individual uh, division administrators. And Oregon has its own division administrator, Andy Eno. Under Andy is Warren. So that's kind of the hierarchy. When we first were starting this, putting together the topics for this, uh, for this conference uh, months and months ago, uh, we knew that CSA, we wanted CSA to be a, a topic because uh, basically Congress said and <coughs> different reports said that this current CSA system is not fair, it's not working, you need something different. And so the FMCSA has set about to make changes in CSA. Uh, there has been virtually no information about how they're going to change it other than very general things. So. Uh, I asked uh, Joe DeLorenzo if they were ready to talk about the changes in CSA, and he said, yeah, I think it's time. I think we're ready. Uh, Joe said he could not come out, but he would have Scott Hernandez attend. So I talked to Scott last Friday. He was set to attend. He was going to be in San Diego the first part of this week with Ray Martinez, the administrator uh, at a California trucking uh, event and then fly up here to, to do the CSA. Uh, Wednesday, uh, their trips got canceled because of the shutdown. The FMCSA is not shut down, however, travel departments and all that kind of stuff that they deal with, and it was not very good optics, I guess, to have federal workers flying all over the country. So, getting to be a long story. Basically, uh, it filtered down to Warren. And Warren is going to do both presentations. Uh, Warren had to be in contact with Joe DeLorenzo in Washington, D.C. to get the details of what he's going to talk about. So, uh, uh, you know, it just kind of went downhill uh, as far as who's going to end up finally giving the presentation. And from what I understand uh, is that the FMCSA has canceled many, many, many presentations because of the shutdown. And, uh, and Andy Eno, our, our regional guy, was very surprised that they allowed Warren to come to our event. So we're lucky to have Warren, uh, not only because he's a good guy, just but, but because of all that's going around, uh, along, uh, going around in Washington, D.C., uh, that uh, they allowed him to come. So uh, he will be here presenting two topics, and we're, again, glad to have him.